Alright, hey y'all, what is up? And welcome back to my channel for a brand new Sims 4 Let's Play. Hey! Alright, so if you watched my speed build a couple of weeks ago, I built a single mom trailer and I'm explaining their backstory, mentioned that I was making it an LP because, you know, I've missed The Sims 4 gameplay. I kind of got a little bit bored with it, was uninspired, and I really wanted to not focus on a pack or expansion pack that we get, but just a story because my favorite thing to do in The Sims 4 and in The Sims in general is to story tell. So if you're new to my channel, my name is Carissa and I love The Sims. At Sims 2, Sims 3, Sims 4, all of the Sims, and I like to story tell and just really let my creativity out in the Sims. So I hope you guys can see that and enjoy that. But anyways, I do not have a name for this OP yet, which is where you guys come in. Um, I mean, even if it's going to take us a few weeks to get a name, that's perfectly fine with me. I really want it to be a good name and something that... Um, is going to be memorable to my channel because I have a really good feeling that you guys are going to really enjoy the story of this single sim mother that I have created. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. I've worked really hard the past few weeks just trying to get whew, all of the families that's in this LP, all the relationships, all the lots and everything. So yeah, without further ado, I'm going to be introducing you to our Sims. And now, just bear with me. If you don't want to listen to me, you know, explain their backstory, I will have it in the description. And you can skip on forward. I will have where the LP actually starts with gameplay. But it is the first part, and it's very important that we know our Sims. So we are currently residing in Oasis Springs in this nice little trailer park area, which I, I love creating trailers in The Sims 4, and I love this little area right here. I think it's perfect for a little trailer park. I think it has so much character. I love it so, so much. But anyways, our two main Sims that we're going to be focusing on is Cassie Beckett and her son, Kai Beckett. So... Cassie is a single mom. She's very, very young. She actually had Kai when she was 18 years old, her freshman year of college. Like, as soon as she started college, she got into a very toxic um, relationship. It was actually an affair with her professor. So, let me go ahead and show you the relationships here. So, this is Elliot Woods. And Elliot was her professor in college and obviously he's very attractive she's a very beautiful girl he's very inappropriate towards her and she has always been very naive and she does not have the best uh past when it comes to relationships she goes for the wrong guys 100 percent so immediately she just fell for him he was older and she knew it was wrong but she couldn't help these feelings and they ended up you know woohooing and she got pregnant and when she got pregnant, she kind of woke up a little bit and was like, okay, this man uh, has a wife. He also has a child. So his wife's name is Brenna. Uh, she is very much disliked by Cassie. Now, Brenna knows that there was something going on. She doesn't know all the details, but she knows that she was very jealous of Cassie, very concerned of how close they were. Um, she kind of has the hutch that her husband had an affair and that Kai may be her husband's child. But their daughter together's name is Sadie, which, you know, we really don't have much to do with, but I did want to just introduce you to his family. So, yeah, she does not have a good relationship with him. Basically, she said, look, I don't need you. This was a mistake. Uh... I'm going to keep the baby, but I don't want your help. I don't need your help. Just pretend this never happened. And you know what? Him not wanting to risk his reputation and his family, he said, okay, fine. So be it. Y'all be careful if you need, like, you know, if you need me, I'll help. He's not a terrible person. You know, he's not like an absent father because he doesn't want anything to do with Kai. It's made mostly because Cassie doesn't want him to have anything to do with Kai. Um, but, you know, he definitely should not have, you know, pursued anything with Cassie while he was in a relationship so there's that um, as far as the other relationships in her life she's very very close to her dad which is Dion we'll see a lot of Dion because he is awesome <laughs> she lost her mom at a very young age so she's never really had a mother figure her dad's kind of like a a badass you know he looks like a biker he 
hasn't settled down since losing his wife. He, you know, has dated around, but basically Cassie's never had a mother figure, which I'm sure is very, very hard for a lot of young girls. Fortunately, I've never had to experience that, but, you know, I can imagine that it had a lot to do with her decision making and just not having that guidance. But he loves his daughter and she loves her father. Everything that she has is thanks to him. Um, when she found out she was having Kai, she said, Dad, I want to do better. I want to be a mom and I want to raise my son and make him proud. She's like, I want to get out on my own and just grow up. And so they purchased, um, or she, she purchased this little trailer here with the help of her father. And it was not in the best condition, but of course he put every time he had and put a lot of hard work into painting and fixing it up and making it really nice, which is why it is so cute. I think it's the cutest little trailer. Um, and she absolutely loves it. She's very proud of it. And um, she owes it all to her dad. So Dion is very close with his daughter, Cassie. And he's also very, very close to his grandson, Kai, which Kai sees Dion kind of as his father figure he knows it's his grandfather but that's really the only male figure he's had in his life to look up to and Cassie's best friend's name is Danica Pope she actually lives right here with her boyfriend his name is Ken Mann um, her and uh, Danica have been friends since they were in high school. You know, they're OG friends. And uh, that's how she found out about this trailer. Danica was like, hey, it's for, you know, it's for rent. Please come move in. It'd be awesome to have you next door. Of course, I can help watch Kai, whatever. And it's been really, really good having Danica next door. Um, she's pretty good friends with Ken as well. But Ken, as we're going to see, he's not necessarily a good guy. He is a criminal um, I mean, him and Danica have a good relationship, but, I mean, Kian's just a little bit sketchy to me. So, yeah, I definitely think Cassie gets those vibes from Kian that he's just a little bit sketchy. And she really needs to, you know, be protective of her best friend, Danica. Also, she has a friend named Megan Thomas. Megan Thomas is a single mom as well who has a daughter named Millie Thomas. And they actually live in the trailer right next door. They met when they moved into this neighborhood because obviously they share a common interest. Um, or not really interest, but they're both single moms, obviously. So Kai and Millie have little play dates all the time. They're friends. It's really, really cute. And I think that'll be a really fun relationship to see grow. Um, especially with Cassie having somebody that relates to her struggle as a single mother. And then this right here is Mr. Martin Perez. And Martin is a guy that she has met recently. They haven't known each other very long, but uh, they are lovebirds. They haven't had their first kiss or anything like that. But yeah, I mean, they've hung out a few times. He's an attractive guy. Obviously, Cassie's a very beautiful girl. So, you know, she's just been, you know, texting him, seeing where things go. She's trying to guard her heart because she knows she has definitely had a very bad experience, like I said, in relationships in the past. And she does not want to repeat that because she has a young son named Kai. But honestly, I've been there and I've done that. And I think one of her best traits, but also it can be considered a bad trait, is that she sees the best in people. And so... I don't know. There's a lot of good-looking Sims in this save that I'm sure she's going to see. Now, Cassie is a very good mom. She loves her son. Um, she's very driven, and she wants to be a good mom, but she's also very, very young, so she still likes to go out and have a good time, and she likes to date around, and she likes to, you know, she just likes to have fun. She's young. She's still got a lot to learn, but, you know, she doesn't want to lose her youth just because she had a child, and she believes she can do both, which, you know, so be it. You can. It's fine. Whatever. But anyways, yeah, I think it's going to be really fun seeing where all these relationships go. So basically, that is our main sims that we're focusing on right now. There are a lot of other sims in the save file that we're hopefully going to meet later. And we're just going to see how this story develops. This is going to be an LP where I'm really going to be dependent on you guys to help me. I really, really want y'all's opinions on relationships. I want you to tell me what you think should happen. I really want you guys to lead this for me and tell me what you want to see. I want it to be very interactive, so please, please, please leave your comments and everything down below to help me out. But first question of the day um, that I think I failed to mention is that Cassie is currently unemployed, okay? And she knows she's got to get a job, but she does not want to, like, dive into anything. And obviously, college right now is not an option, but you don't really need college right now to, you know, 
have a career and provide for her family. So um, her funds are actually not correct. So uh, real quick, let me go ahead and give her the correct funds, which we're just going to go ahead and give her... Um, Hold on. I went ahead and gave her uh, $2,000, <laughs> which I think is a pretty good bet. She can survive off that for a little while, but it's definitely going to dwindle down. She knows she's got to find a career, like ASAP. So I want you guys to tell me what do you think she should pursue. I'll tell you some of her interests. She, um, she where's her skills? Okay. Uh, she likes to write, something that she loved to do in college. It's actually something she was majoring in. She wanted to be like a journalist or, you know, maybe something in the social media influencer. She just really likes to write articles and um, possibly like write a book and a story in her life. I don't know. That's something that she's always dreamed of doing. She's pretty decent at mixology because she is a young, uh, she was a young college student, so she knows how to mix up a good drink. Um, let's see, she likes to dance, have a good time. She is pretty good at cooking and baking, and that's a possibility. Her best friend, Danica, is a caterer and has offered her a job, so she knows she can definitely take the culinary track if she wants to. Um, but I want you guys to let me know what do you think Cassie should pursue because she definitely needs to hurry up and get a job like ASAP, so let me know. And then also, before we go ahead and start playing, I guess it's important that I probably uh, will, will tell you her traits. So she is outgoing, she's neat, she's family oriented, and she's alluring because she does have the soulmate aspiration. Um, she wants to settle down and find true love, and I definitely have that hope for her, like high hope that she's going to eventually find that. It may take a while, may take her kissing a lot of frogs to find her prince, but I definitely, definitely think Cassie deserves it. All right, so I think that's enough storytelling and <laughs> explaining their backstory. Hopefully, you guys stuck with me and you enjoyed the in-depthness of their story. Um, Kai is such a little mama's boy. He loves his mama, obviously. Um, that's all he has. So, anyways, I'm going to have Kai come in here and, um, okay, well, that's definitely Cassie. <laughs> Let's have Kai come in here and stack. Let's work on some of his skills and everything. And I think what we're going to do is we're going to call over our dad. Um, we're going to, okay, yeah, we're just going to call him and say, look, okay, I, I need a job. I need to figure out what I'm doing. So, you know what, do you mind watching Kai for a little bit while I go out with Danica and uh, just kind of try to, you know, talk and try to figure out what I'm going to do. And he's like, well, I mean, of course, bring him over, all's good. So I think that's what we're going to do. We're going to go drop Kai off at his grandpa's. Um, and Dion lives in the city, which is where Cassie is originally from. But she moved to Asa Springs, like I said, to be near Danica and have Danica's help since, you know, the trailer right next door was for sale, but... Anyways, it's not that far from the city, so we're just going to make a trip there and leave Kai for a little bit. Okay, so I decided to meet Danica at this uh, internet cafe bar, which is really, really cute in Newcrest, but of course it's like storming right now, so let's go ahead and get out of the rain. And it looks like Danica's going straight over here to order her a coffee, which you know what, um... I don't know how she's doing that because it looks like our barista, Ella Spencer Kim, is not even doing her job, but you know what? Oh, okay. Well, maybe we just need to tell her what we want. So let's order for here. Um, oh, not food. I want to order a drink. I think we need to order. Let's see. Let's get a mocha. And then we're just going to kind of talk to Danica about. Oh, hoo, 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 look who it is. This is Brenna, okay? So this is her baby daddy's wife. Okay, and I don't think Brenna has seen Cassie yet. And like I said, she does not know uh, the details. But, you know, oh, God. Oh, are you serious? I picked the perfect place to come to, obviously. Okay, it's Elliot. So, oh, this is awkward. She's like, okay. okay. She has not seen him yet. He sees her, and he's like, oh, 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 okay. But I don't think he's really sweating it because... Cassie made it very clear that she wants nothing to do with him, so um, I don't think she's going to, like, go out of her way to come up to him or anything like that, but um, she's like, oh, uh, it's you. <laughs> she's just pretending she has no idea who he is, okay, just being all casual and whatnot. We're just, uh, I, don't, I don't know if she got our order. Probably not. This never works for me, but we're going to try again to order a mocha. <laughs> Uh, Danica does know who Elliot is. She knows all the details, so uh, 
<laughs> Dana, because she's kind of glaring at him, like, wow, this is super awkward. But you know what? We're not going to sweat it. We're not going to sweat it. Is she getting her mocha? I'm not really sure if she's got her order or not. This is just really awkward. And she's like, give me my damn drink so I can sit down and pretend that I don't know what's happening right now because I'm just a little confused. Like, why? <laughs> why is this my luck? Okay. Yeah, okay. Order drink. Can we please have a mocha? That's all I'm asking for is a damn mocha, uh, okay? Oh, uh, 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 sir, excuse me? Yeah, okay. Uh, Danica's like, bitch, you better, you better back off. <laughs> Wrong table. You might want to go over there with your wife, you know? Yeah, okay, see you later. All right, thanks to Danica. Uh, I think he has skedaddled on because that would have been really awkward. She's like, can you believe... He just came down, sat, sat down with us. Like, I think he wants to talk to you. She's like, well, you know what? Not happening. Tough luck. It's not happening. And then, ugh. So, you know, obviously Brenna has seen Cassie by now. And she's just like, oh, okay, well, mm -hmm, whatever. Uh, and I think Elliot dipped. <laughs> I think he was a little bit offended by uh, Danica. Uh, I'm not really sure what Danica said to him. But she definitely got rid of him. Um... I don't know. I guess Brenna didn't notice. But anyways, we have, obviously, all these celebrities that are hanging out here, which is kind of strange. But, alright, so, anyways, we're going to just kind of ask her about her career. Because, like I said, Danica is in the culinary career. I believe she is a caterer. So, she's like, you know, you like to bake, you like to cook. And I know that you have, like, these big dreams of being a writer and, you know making it big but you know also it'd be really cool for us to you know maybe open up our own restaurant one day because that's danica's dream oh okay paparazzi seriously okay you know we're just trying to enjoy our coffee here um okay Brittany chow can you like just go away because this is newcrest you should probably stay in del sol valley because i can't deal with the paparazzi anyways I mean, they're trying to have a conversation, but Danica keeps wanting more coffee. She's all jacked up on espresso. Um, Dad, hi. You're supposed to be watching Kai. Oh, Don Lothario. It's just like, hello, pretty lady. Danica's like, look, I've heard a lot about him. Probably need to run, but you know what? Cassie's a sucker for good looking at tall, dark, and handsome men. So, you know what? We're just going to give Don Lothario a friendly little introduction. You know, nothing wrong with that. Dad, can you please go do your job and watch your, your grandson? Thank you. Bye. You're just you're really ruining my, my storyline here. Wow, this is just great. And typical, right? So anyways, yeah, hi. Anyways, uh, Danica's like, okay, if anybody would just stop interrupting our conversation now, that'd be great. All right, Don, it was nice talking to you. But anyways, uh, I was trying to explain to you guys what Danica is really hoping that uh, Cassie will, you know, join the culinary career with her because Cassie loves to cook and has a dream of opening her own restaurant and just, like, really making it big one day. You know, obviously, she doesn't have a lot of money. She's dating a criminal, and she's just not really living her best life, I guess you would say. Um, and she has like, just high hopes that Cassie would definitely go in with her and help her, and that'd be something really cool, you know? A sister cafe or something like that. I don't know. And Cassie might, you know, she might for now, but she does. She has these big dreams of, you know, possibly doing something in journalism, possibly doing something in social media. I'm not really sure. Like I said, I want you guys to tell me what you think, but right now she's got to potty, and I think we're probably going to go on home because this is not going well. Uh, we can't have, like, a decent conversation <laughs> with Danica because uh, everybody's wanting to order coffee. We've ran into our baby daddy, his wife, and our dad, who is supposed to be at home watching Kai. <laughs> but anyways, yeah, we're going to go ahead and pick Kai up and go back home and spend a little bit of time with him. So Cassie is putting Kai in his little high chair, and we're going to give him... Uh, a ham and cheese sandwich and probably go ahead and fix up something real quick. So let's just go ahead and, um, let's see. We're probably going to cook enough to get us by the next few days for dinner. So let's cook a family-sized serving of tacos. Um, she, I don't know. Cassie's just really contemplating a lot. She's had a lot to go on today. Um, from, you know, trying to figure out if she's going to go in with Danica and take that leap of faith and, you know, see what the culinary offers and you know or follow her dream of writing and being an, um, a journalist and whatnot um she really doesn't think that she has that in her just because 
you, she feels like she you have to know somebody, you know, to get a good job and do what you want to do, you have to know somebody, and she knows absolutely nobody, so she knows she would start at the very, very bottom, but if she started with Danica, she could skip two levels ahead and be a caterer, she could skip, you know, I mean, she'd make more money starting out as a caterer than she would in the journalism career, so, I don't know, she's got a lot to think about, so let me know what you guys think. Uh, she's also is just a little flabbergasted, I guess you would say, that uh, <laughs> um, she saw her, her baby daddy, you know, she saw Elliot and uh, Brennan. It was just really awkward, but, you know, it's a good thing that Elliot is on the same page with her and, you know, it's just kind of like, okay, Lord fine, you don't want nothing to do with him. me. I can make oh, yeah. that really easy for you. So he pretended like he didn't even see her. Looks like Danica was like, hey, you ditched me. And she was like, well, I mean, it was just a little bit much. I had to go pick up Kai. Uh, and yeah, sorry. And she's like, okay, well, that's fine. Okay, so what do you think? Are you going to go in with me? What's what's the plans, right? <laughs> um, so she's like, look, I don't know. She's like, look, I promise. It's going to be good. This is going to be good for you. And if you don't like it, I won't be offended if you back out. I promise. I won't. But... I'm just letting you know that the job is yours if you want it, but you need to let me know as soon as possible. So she's just thanking her for, you know, always thinking of her and helping her and everything. All right, so it's 5.43, and it looks like our little buddy is a little bit tired, but I'm going to cheat that a little bit because I don't want him to really nap or anything. I want him to go to bed at a decent hour. I know I really shouldn't cheat, but, you know, I'm just a cheater. So let's let him out real quick so he can go play with his toys and... Um, I think Danica is just asking her, you know, about Martin, which is, like I said, the guy that she has been talking to, and she's like, yeah, I mean, I haven't hung out with him lately, but, um, you know, maybe I should send him a text, so she is sending Martin a text, and I mean, we might hang out with him in the next part, um, just because, you know, she is a hopeless romantic, she wants to find the one, and he's very good looking, not really sure what's going on with him don't know if he's really a good guy don't know much about him but you guys are gonna have to let me know what you think once we meet him um if you have any sims that you want me to include in this lp let me know um and i will go find them and we'll put them in whether it's a single sim or some single mom some friends for cassie some future possible future possible friends uh lovers for mr kai um but yeah, so I think this has been a lot for the first part. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. I'm really excited to story tell with this family. I think it's going to be so much fun. I can sense a lot of drama, a lot of emotions, and a lot of love coming for this LP. Um, so yeah, let me know what you guys think. Give it a big thumbs up if you like it. Subscribe if you have not. And with that being said, I will talk to y'all later. Bye! <music>